வணக்கம் இது உங்க பேட்டிக்லோ த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி நான் உங்க கிரேஷி ஜெர்மனி நடத்தப்படுற வாலிங் பால்ஸ் என்ற போட்டியில் வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னு சொன்னா பல்வேறு மட்டங்கள போட்டிகள் நடத்தப்படுது சனி என்கேஜ் அதே மாதிரி கான்பரன்ஸ் அதே மாதிரி பிச்சிங் சிறந்த கண்டுபிடிப்பாளருக்கான பல்வேறு போட்டிகள் நடத்தப்படுது இதுல வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னு சொன்னா சைன் என்கேஜ் அதாவது வந்து விஞ்ஞான ரீதியான போட்டியில வந்து நம்மளது மட்டக்களப்பு சேர்ந்த இளைஞர்கள் வந்து போட்டிட்டு இருக்காங்க போட்டிட்டது மட்டுமே இல்லாம டூ தௌசண்ட் நைன்டீனுக்கான வின்னராகவும் ஆயிருக்காங்க பிளீஸ் வெல்கம் த வின்னர் ஆஃப் ஃபாலோயிங் வால்ஸ் அண்ட் கேஜ் த ஃபாலோயிங் வால்ஸ் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் கேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் த இயர் டுவெண்ட்டி நைன்டீன் பிரேக்கிங் த வால் ஆஃப் இம்பர்ஸ்னல் லேர்னிங் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சஸ் கிஷோக் நவரத்னராஜ் ட்ரீம் ஸ்பேஸ் அகாடமி ஸ்ரீலங்கா Hi everyone. So I think uh, I have a little bit shorter time than the other, so 5 minutes, but yeah, great. And uh, <clears throat> there's another thing that I have to tell why uh, the Kishod Navarat Naraja was mentioned in the audio and then why I'm speaking, I will probably tell at the end of the the story. So I will keep it short. So all the great changes are preceded by chaos and um This may not be true for a lot of people but it's actually true for us in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka was a was a country uh, in a war uh, for 30 years and then we had bigger natural disasters. And this actually made a lot of international aid organization to be harbored uh, in in Sri Lanka to provide uh, a lot of things for free. So in the last 30 years this has been a problem because sri lanka was always getting solutions uh, developed by foreigners uh, for the local problems and and with with uh, with very small percentage of local people involved however because of this we have lost the ability to innovate ourselves and and solve our own problems because we get things for free so you can, as you can see that you know sri lanka stays in the in, in the least innovative country and um, um, how we wanted to solve this problem so we created dream space academy with four uh, ideas or four uh, concepts as a foundation of the pillar so the first one is the project based learning so basically we want to provide a platform for building capacity in several uh, departments of science something as electronics mechanics wet lab where we were growing algae and gastronomy where we were uh, uh, where we want to provide uh, find like alternative food and also um, probiotic drinks from hibiscus and we have a, a textile lab where we want to work with um, extracting silk from the silk worm without killing that and and material lab where we were able to work with uh, 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 biodegradable uh, material so this is this is the core part of the dream space academy where we build all this capacity however we know that that we cannot just rely on just yet another stem or a robotics or so to say the maker space education because we need to solve our own problem and we need to invent ourselves that's how we created this community innovation model where we a group of people trained uh, experts they solve a local problem by using open source innovations However we need a lot of support from the international uh, team so that's how they, we have this and then we scale this prototypes into products that become the social entrepreneurship a product that solves the problem in, in the local community so so what exactly dream space does is is a dream space is a community innovation center that tackles socio economic and environmental challenges using project based learning So we have grown into, into into bigger groups and then we have this is the first photo is from from our town and then we have adopted a jungle uh, uh, village school with 104 kids and then we have another center we have art and cultural even running and we have been recognized by several uh, prestigious awards such as Duke of Edinburgh award and Stockholm water prize as a regional coordinator to evaluate the application to send those youngsters to UK and Sweden and then we have been collaborating with several international organization on this however i just want to talk a little bit more about uh, of 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 breaking the multi dimensional wall here because the problem is not only about the engagements about the social economic and political issues that we face today i want to really share a small story i mean i want to finish it um, like about sign engagement uh we have been uh, when we were announced that uh, we got this uh, we are the finalist of of falling walls i really wanted to bring my whole team because this is one of the incentive for our team to get the international exposure however um after providing several documents the german embassy in sri lanka rejected us saying that 
uh, our reason for traveling to Germany is not trustworthy. And we, we don't have enough financial background to, to be in Germany. So I decided, okay, I'm based in Berlin, so I decided, okay, I will pitch in, in, in place of my co-founder, and, 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 but still I don't want to let this go. So I really want to fight, because today we are talking about breaking the wall. And I really fought for it, then, but still, after remonstration, we were able to bring Kishot, actually he arrived directly, uh, please come. And uh, <laughs> he arrived just one, one hour before our pitch. And Germany might have demolished the wall in, in, in within Germany, but I believe that Germany should not build a wall around Germany. And I don't know how many of such people would have lost opportunities uh, by rejecting the visas. Or um, and we know that there's also another star, another uh, team from Libya is rejected. So um, we are building the change that we want to see in the world. And uh, if you are if you are interested, uh, please uh, invite us, support us, and speak about us. Thank you very much. இந்த கல்வி செய்ய திட்டத்தை வந்து சமூகத்துக்கு கொடுக்கறது மூலமா சமூகத்தை முன்னெடுத்தலாம் என்றதுதான் அவங்களுக்கு ஒரே நோக்கா இருக்கு பாத்தீங்கன்னு சொன்னா இந்த செய்தித்தட்டு இந்த செய்தித்தட்டு தான் வந்து அவங்க ஜெர்மனியில் இருக்கிற சயின்ஸ் ஃபாலிங் வால் சயின்ஸ் என்கேஜில் வந்து கொடுத்துருக்காங்க ரெண்டாயிரத்தி பத்தொன்பதாம் என்ற சிறந்த செய்தித்திட்டமாக இந்த செய்தித்திட்டத்தை தான் அவங்க தெரிவு செஞ்சுருக்காங்க ஸோ பார்த்தீங்கன்னு சொன்னால் இந்த முயற்சிக்காகவே அவங்களை நம்ம பாராட்டலாம் ஸோ பெட்டிகுலர் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி சார்பாக நாங்கள் அவங்களுக்கு